Bernie White Bear was the first person that ever talked to me about urban Indians. We spent time together in the streets of Seattle and he would say to me, Ralph, these people need a home. They need some place they can go and they know they're safe and they can gather and sometimes could receive maybe medical care or maybe find out more about their own tribe back home, whatever it happened to be. They were from all different tribes and some from Alaska, some from British Columbia, some from here. And they often found themselves on the streets in our major city of Seattle. Bernie had read the treaties, and he knew that a number of the treaties between the military and the tribes had said if the military ever gives up tribal land that they'd taken from the tribe, that the tribe had a right to take it back. And based on that language, he asked uh, that when Fort Lawton was surplus, that part of it go to the United Indians for all tribes. It took a lot of fighting, it took a lot of protests, it took a lot of convincing, it took a lot of legislative hearings and city council hearings. It took a lot of friends who came in to help, but he succeeded. And today, the Daybreak Star Cultural Center, even though Bernie is long gone, as our friend departed us, it's a tribute to him. A tribute to the work that he did and a tribute to the people he represented. I'm very impressed with the preschool here, the artwork here, and the number of visitors here. It's perhaps one of the most beautiful views in the state of Washington, looking out over Puget Sound and up to Whidbey Island and out west to Suquamish and Bainbridge Island. The Daybreak Star Cultural Center is one of my very favorite places. <laughs>